Evening tubers, King Grimlock back once again for another Grim Grand Man. First off, as ever, a little bit of housekeeping. Uh, we're going to continue on with the Countdown to AA viewer request session. Get in, right once again. And this will continue on Mirage 8Vs and Nick the True Phantasm's request for the Predacons. We're so close to AA now, and we're so close to getting this guy formed up and pretty. So let's have another look straight off at our next big bad beastie. We're going to go for Headstrong. The... Ground Assault Rhinoceros, and another aptly named Predacon, Predator, maybe not. Get rid of the big bad gun, another big double blaster, do some damage with that. Um, and we have what is probably my favourite of the Predacons, um, just in, he's got so much personality. I like rhinos, we don't have enough rhinos in the Transformers universe, we only have him and Rhinox and uh, Ramhorn, um, and Rumble now actually, which is kind of odd from the movie verse. And I do love the fact that you have the inquisitive rhino look. Hmm. But he's just a very nice, solid beast. They've obviously looked at what a rhino looks like with the shape of the body and everything and gone, yeah, we can do that. Let's build it up around that. Um, but he's also well armoured and he has some lovely sculpted detail along the body. Um, but mainly in the head area, if you look at the head sculpt, it is absolutely fantastic. These studs above the... Uh, above the mouth and around the fr the back of the neck and everything and the, the beautifully large, the massive jaw absolutely gorgeous and again all this cyanetic detail in the, the legs and uh, the sculpted feet as well really nicely done um, a lot of effort has obviously gone into making it look as rhinoceros and as cybernetic as possible um, and again one of the nice things about the Predacons being the same size they actually have some structure to them they are actually a decent piece let's take a look at him in his robot mode then um, if they will uh, do what I'm asking them to do, I doubt they will. Cause they never. Do. Oh yeah, I've got to take that out first, haven't I? You muppet. Uh, love that. Love that bit of the transformation. Just slam the legs back in. Head reveal. Arms out. And like um, Tantrum yesterday, you know, he is a fairly basic bot. There isn't too much to him that's that impressive. But what he does, he does very well. I know that bit's supposed to flap away, but you know what? It's such a nightmare to actually get in and out um, that I don't bother. And there we have Headstrong in his robot mode. Again, a fairly successful Generation 1 robot, hampered because he has to be structurally secure to be a, um, a limb. But he has the, the arm articulation, the head has zero articulation this time, unfortunately. But we have the same beautiful sculpted detail in the knees to give the impression of a leg, the cutaway in the plastic as well. And... There is a lot of detail added to it to make it look like it has more articulation and more detail, uh, more than it actually has. You know, we, we have these little areas to be feet, and we have this the massive cod piece, massive cod piece. Um, but we have sculpted detail on there as well. Um, imagine there was probably a sticker on there once. Um, and we have all the same detail on the rest of it. He's a big, chunky robot, completely out of proportion, the same as... Um, tantrum but he is a solid piece again a great color scheme i love the reds and the yellows of the predacons i do love the way that they are so so dramatic in their color scheme they're bold and the colorful imagine this guy in the gold for the rear shoe let's take him to his predaking limb mode there isn't exactly much that you have to do um just sort of flapping bits down in and around Make sure everything's tucked out of the way for when he becomes a limb. Um, I can't remember exactly which point we take him to, but we'll take him to there for now. Uh, we have to tuck that bit away, don't we? Will it be, will it be good? Are you going to be good? Yeah, you're going to be good. Um, sorry, people. If I remember exactly how we're supposed to do this, then it wouldn't be an entertaining review, would it? Not an entertaining review anyway, Matt. I can hear you saying it. Uh, <laughs> Be good. Be good. Be good. There we go. And there he is in his his limb mode. And again, he's just another big leg. He big leg. Get, you just getting an idea of just how big Predator King's gonna be. Really, really nice stuff. 